Hello guys, welcome to my channel, African Gypsy. I'm doing a reading for my darling Capricorn for the month of March. What does my Capricorn need to know? Capricorn, I'm so sorry that I haven't done your reading in a while. Um, yes, yeah, so I thought for the March ones, let's get yours in quick already. I see that um, the Spirit is giving you a divine strategy around something that you may be facing. And you're getting some very clear direction about the way you need to go and what you need to do, especially concerning the closing of a chapter. Something has run its course, it's finished, it's done. This chapter is closed and Spirit is giving you a divine strategy. Because you may have found out that someone's being sneaky around you, just some very low vibrational kind of energy, being sneaky, trying to um, sneak off with your stuff or even spying on you. And um, this chapter is coming to an end. But this person spying on you, they become like so addicted to finding out what's going on in your life that they're like saying, no, no, it's not over until I say it's over. But I see you getting a divine strategy out of the situation, however it may play out. This is a general reading. Uh, you know who this message is for, specific message for a couple of you. I also feel that there's a mutual attraction on the card. Someone's going to be attracted to you the same way you're attracted to them. as a very beautiful energy. Capricorn, I feel that in the past, uh, you managed to make money or make ends meet. You managed to like conduct all your financial stuff um, by working on the things you're trained to do and doing some natural hustle that just comes comes to you easily. And that helps you quite a bit. Quite a number of you actually moved up in the ranks, um, being told to put it that way. And you managed to get to a point where you acquired a lot of power and influence around you as well. Right now, a lot of you all are wanting to take a leap of faith. You want to do something brand new. Yeah, it's no wonder, you know, it's, it, this. you've closed off this chapter. You're saying this chapter is done. I want to do something new. Give me something new. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me new. Give me new right now. And a spirit is just asking you to look before you leap. You know, it's, it's good to take a leap of faith and you must. But you must also uh, find out from those who are more experienced than yourself how the journey actually goes. So you can avoid a lot of like uh, mistakes that could have easily been avoidable by just doing a little bit of research. I feel that some of you are going to be meeting up with a boss. Someone who's going to be... Um, very influential, uh, coming through as a mentor, as a sponsor of sorts. Someone is looking at how your chapters come to an end and how there's been this sneaky energy around you, but they believe in you and they're like, you know what, I've seen how you work and I really want to work with you. I want to support you in whatever way I can. And you're going to recognize this person because it's very hardworking and very honest. And his name precedes him. You just have to say, Jay Smith and everyone's like oh Mr. Smith is a Smith or Mr. Smith is a lovely person and all of that and this person's got like well-established relationships they know people from a ways back when yes you're taking the decision to reach a, a decisive point in your life where spirit is saying the past it's finished it's closed uh, it's no longer sustainable you know it's like you finished grade one you can't stay in grade one indefinitely you finished the syllabus you now need to move to grade on to grade two and now you're faced with a decision See how this guy is stuck between the blonde and the brunette. It doesn't have to be like two people in real life like that for you. It could be two situations that are both really good. They're both like, ooh, I could do with this anytime. But you have to make a choice. You can't have both of them. You know, you can't have your cake and eat it in this case, whatever. Maybe it could be a job in Atlanta and another job in Ohio or something like that for argument's sake. And you want to take a leap of faith. You're like, you know what? I'm choosing something new, but I've got two new things coming my way. I don't know what I'm going to do. But Spirit is saying, just think positive and change the way of doing everything and viewing the options coming up ahead of you. And you'll find that things will work out well for you. Look at this. Someone's moving towards a happy home. Some chapters closed out. I've got a lot of number 10s coming through here. So something is finished. A cycle is closed off. It's done. Something new is coming in. Someone is moving towards a happy home. A lot of uh, marital bliss. A happy, like a marriage set up. A lot of respect from the community. Um, domestic changes of all sorts coming in for some of you. You might be renovating a house or getting some things to make a house more comfortable. You're putting your energy into making a house comfortable, making a house really nice. And some of you can be very happily married. That's a very beautiful energy for you, my dear Caps. And I'm also seeing that a couple of you may be thinking about the place of your birth or the family home, or the place you grew up, the place, where you spent your younger years and stuff like that. You may be thinking a lot about that kind of an energy. And look, spirit is in it. God is in it. The divine is in it. This is, for me, when this comes out, definitely a chapter is closed and you're stepping right through into a portal, into a new life. This is you stepping into a brand new life, you know. 
yeah yeah never mind the fact that she's in a birthday suit i'm not saying you should all step forward in your birthday suits and stuff guys <laughs> yeah i'm saying it oh sorry i digressed so she uh, she's stepping forward into a brand new life and spirit is supporting this new move for her it's like a, a doorway has been opened you've been trying very hard to create a happy fulfilling life for you and a, a portal has been opened slightly for you and you need to like push and make sure you get through that portal and live the life you want live the life that you'd love to be living because guys this is not a dress rehearsal it's not going to be like, oh, okay, we've gone through February. That was a dress rehearsal. Now, guys, put on your costumes. The real February is coming through. Let's do this. No, this is how it's going down. It's been written like that. So make sure you're putting your best foot forward. There's no time to be a people pleaser because if you're pleasing everyone, you're sure as hell are not going to be pleasing yourself. I was, I was told to say it specifically like that for someone. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of conflict as you're moving forward. I bet this conflict is coming from this person who's been doing all that spying and stuff like that. Let me just clarify real quick, real quick. For some of you, it's like uh, internal conflict where you're fighting with yourself about a new decision you've made. And you're like, yeah, I know it's a good decision, but uh, I should have waited for the bell to ring so that I can actually move to the next chapter. Ain't no bell going to ring, girl. You're the bell ringer. Oh, look at this. You're, gonna, you're, gonna, you, you're not going to worry anymore. There's nothing for you to worry about. See, the five of coins came out reversed and you're not going to be feeling left out in the cold. If you're afraid that if I make this move, I'm going to alienate myself from a lot of people. Spirit is saying, no, you're not going to be feeling left out in the cold. You're going to be okay. You're going to, you have nothing to worry about. You're dealing with all your worries, like logically, like, okay, I'm worried about five things. One, two, three, four, five. And Spirit says, no, child. These three worries are all concerned, uh, they're all connected with one decision. Make one decision, these three worries go away. Then you've actually got two worries. Deal with those and you'll find that everything is actually working out quite well for you. I'm also feeling that there may be messages coming in for you, a lot of messages. For some of these messages of love, some of these messages concerning uh, projects that you sent out and you thought no one had paid any attention to you. This is like really good. There's a new world starting up for you, a new beginning, a, a new way of living, a brand new chapter for you, my darlings. Take care of your environment as you're doing that. Make sure you're using clean energy. You're cleaning up after yourself in the environment. If you're starting up new projects or you're working with some scientific project or whatever project, make sure it's one we're using things that are biodegradable, things that don't mess up our ecosystem and stuff at the end of the day. Let's look after Mother Earth so that she can look after us as well. Okay? It's kind of like the example of you see a tree full of mangoes. We've got a lot of those down here in the southern hemisphere. You've got a tree full of mangoes. And when you're harvesting mangoes, you pull off the whole branch. Yeah, fine. It's easier. It makes things simpler. You get your mangoes. But guaranteed, next season, you're not going to have no mangoes to pick because you've, you've pulled off all the branches and the tree has to grow again. Is that kind of an example, you know, where you do a cost-benefit analysis. I've also been told you need to laugh a lot more. Oh, you, you all been too serious? You need to laugh. Pass some funny jokes with your friends, um, watch a comedy, watch things that make you laugh, you know, because a good belly laugh <laughs> makes you feel so much better. I know it's got a multitude of benefits for you. Follow your dreams, child. It might be to do with this leap of faith. No one's done it before. Maybe you're breaking generational curses. You are going to be the exception of your generation. Ain't no one in your family ever done that before, and that's okay. We don't always have to stick with the uh, with the old model of what our ancestors, our great ancestors and their ancestors did. Sometimes it's okay to be a, a visionary. It's okay to be a game changer. Change the game. And if you call that to and follow your dreams, this will help you a lot, especially if you're going to be in nature. Take time to take a walk in nature and just think about all the different options you've got going on for you. There are so many answers that nature's got waiting for us. My darling Caps... I've absolutely enjoyed doing your reading. I wish you so much love and light and look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you would like to book a personal reading, my details are down there in the description box. Please don't forget to leave, leave this video a big thumbs up if it resonated with you. That's how you give me, me, me my support and I would love that so much. So much love and light going out to you. Peace, sunshine, signing out.